Okay, flip whoopee cushion. Hey yo, everyone, welcome to another Terraria video. Now, this video right here is real special because we have finally gotten the release date for Terraria 1.4, also known as Journey's End. And if you've been watching my videos before, I had that little blow up with all the one off videos and Gamer Day Week videos, then you would know that I was doing modded Terraria series where I just played through every class and I was on the second season of that series. And the last character I left off on on that series was my boy right here, Grognak, the melee character. And we're here. We're sort of doing a final send off to Terraria 1.3.5 or just 1.3, I guess. And, uh, you know, Grognak, he will be our send off before 1.4 comes out, which is on the 16th of May, a.k.a. Terraria's birthday. And, you know, let's see what happens here. We got some strawberries. Delicious. But yeah, let's see what happens here. The mod list will be in the description. It's a pretty insane mod list, pretty hefty. And uh, I try to keep it somewhat similar to the usual mod lists i used in the past um i am actually using calamity i have not used calamity in a while well probably because i haven't really done like a full playthrough in a while but we're here let's just sit back and enjoy the playthrough do i have vein miner installed we're about to find out i think i do but it's not it's not binded boom there there we go now now it's working okay there's a lot of slimes let's get the hell out of here oh we got a bow already look at this how cute <laughs> yeah the goal is we're a melee character they're strong as hell so we want strong things does that even make sense i don't even know what i just said uh, i don't want the statue unless the statue is used for something let's see here okay not really used for anything you can say there all right you know what mr mutant you can keep the statue you know i'm wasting precious daytime here you can keep the statue i don't really care but yeah let's talk about 1.4 it has been officially revealed by red digit himself and it's really honestly surprising that it's coming out so quickly i mean obviously it got delayed from 2019 but still they're coming out it's coming out pretty quickly here um originally when the delay was first announced i don't have wait no i do have joe originally when the delay was first announced i thought like oh maybe like early early 2020s when it's coming out but you know it's coming it's still coming out this is a, this is the thing that matters you know people were upset with the delay delays happen as we're starting to see as of recent with a lot of games um especially when the virus broke out you know it definitely made it harder for people to make their games and stuff but uh you know at least we're still getting it we have an official release date which is is good but you never know bro when's if it gets delayed I don't, i'm not trying to jinx anything but you know how it is been re you know how it's been recently so you never know you never know but yeah let's go ahead let's just get a nice exploration of the whole entire world going on here i don't know how i'm gonna edit these videos if i'll just do my regular editing style but eh, it'll probably be a lot more choppy than usual think about it like the randomizer this video will probably be like the randomizer videos where it's like kind of all over the place you know to the most important moments of the video compared to when i originally did playthrough videos i just kind of just let it flow for like 20 minutes 20 30 minutes something like that we had a goal we get the goal done and uh let's just see what the, what's popping off with this world because we do have a microstructure mod in here uh specifically you use micro microstructure which adds in a lot of structures that spawn in see i don't want to go cave exploring but this cave looks too nice this cave looks too nice looking like some out of 1.4 I don't know how the caves look in 1.4. I know 1.4 is going to be a lot more uh, ambient and the atmosphere is going to be a lot cooler. Dude, I'm getting my eyes beat by that guy. Um, But let me kill this dude. Boom. We got our first piece of Wolfram from Calamity. Uh, I have a mod in here that like balances Calamity and Thorium together. Something like that. I don't know if I trust it actually balancing them together, but we'll see, I guess. But yeah, for 1.4, they said that for master mode, you, you unlock it after beating expert. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, you know, for previous players, like, you know, pretty much everyone that's played it before 1.4 comes out. Do we get master mode right away or do we have to beat the game for the one time? Because I think it's going to kind of suck that we have to beat the game for the one time. I mean, it's going to be new experience but like i want to play on master mode right away same thing with badger badger wants to beat the game on master mode hardcore which i'm hyped to see that and i just want to play on master mode when i hop on my first playthrough i want that first experience to be tough you know it's gonna be a pain but it's gonna be a welcoming pain because it's fresh content and paint. Yeah, for the future Terraria, I'm obviously hyped for 1.4. I'm hoping that there's going to be maybe not official mod support, but like, I don't know, more work with the mod community in general. I want I want the mod com modding community and whatever's going on with Terraria after to be more close together, close knit, because the modding community is going to be what continues Terraria's legacy. Once uh, 1.4 is said and done, and once their next game, I'm assuming they're going to be announcing a next game eventually uh, for Relogic and them and you know I'm, I'm hyped for the future a dream would be that modding support happens that would be very dope but uh we'll see 
we will see maybe they'll hire some mod devs to work for to work on the game after everything's all done that would be very cool there's some great mod devs in the terraria community very talented ones all right so we're a melee character so let me make sure i'm building melee stuff bubble popper this is eight damage it does one more than the wooden sword i think let's get the bubble popper because i'm not going to use the copper short sword hell no i'm not and then we want to kill these wolf room drones okay i'm looking the opposite direction we can tank it Ooh, that, that was close i knew we could tank it but that got that got kind of close i think i'm gonna be hyped for the most in 1.4 is the uh, quality of life stuff and the bestiary if the bestiary works how i think it's gonna work where you know if you see a mob or kill a mob they will be added to the bestiary i'm hoping it's killed i mean i guess seeing can work but i, I hope it's killed because i feel like it'd be better to unlock things by just killing them and that's gonna be fun to fill out there's gonna be new monsters and stuff like that and it would be really fun to fill it out like that you know it's fine if you can see them too but like i feel like there's gonna be some instances where you're like i don't know there's a mob through a wall that you don't really see and you add it to the bestiary like that like yeah i feel like it's kind of whack so i'm hoping that it's kill to add it to the bestiary i'm assuming it is but uh you never know okay we have a uh, nightly owl over here how you doing i'm pretty sure these dudes are not hostile until you hit them you gotta watch our torch count here because i hate running out of torches while mining oh got it <laughs> He did this to himself. He walked. Oh my God! What was that noise? <gasps> Stone of Evil. <laughs> One in twenty-five thousand chance to drop from enemies not spawned by statues. That's amazing. Do you know how rare that is? One in twenty-five thousand. That's how rare it is. Oh, we don't even need to wear it either. So it grants the rage buff. Obviously, rage is crit chance, and that's really lucky. That's from the juice mod. So the other big mod we have in here, we have Thorium, we have Calamity, and then the juice mod, pretty decent, decent size mod. And then we have BTFA Beyond the Forgotten Ages, a very, very great underrated mod in my opinion i don't see it played too often i haven't seen it here and there in people's playthroughs or mod packs but uh, i still think it's a very underrated mod it has a lot of cool additions and the art style is very similar to calamities i would say in terms of a little more uh, nitty gritty is that a, is that a saying that's a saying right nitty gritty that type of art style you know i feel like calamities art style gives some castlevania vibes more than it gives terraria vibes uh, and then you got a mod like thorium which pretty much does give terraria vibes because it could be a terraria dlc it could be an add-on that's why thorium is my favorite mod i think it's very close to what terraria is and uh i like calamity for it being a complete overhaul its own playthrough at this point it's a whole new experience playing it and that's usually why people don't really combine the mods oh i i used to always combine calamity and thorium now i do these big mod pack playthroughs i always combine them yeah let's go in here let's see what kind of goodies we got is it gonna be moddy goodies is it gonna be non-modded goodies i hope it's not modded goodies wait no i hope it is modded goodies well i don't know it depends come on okay that's fine hermes boots are actually really good and the potions are really good too and the torches i'll take all that we got three blue potions you know what would be great for a melee playthrough finding an arcalis that would be just amazing but there's no way it would happen you know during a melee playthrough unless unless we'll see i guess we'll see when we find our first statue there's also flails i can make i don't know how good a flail would be probably not that good compared to a broadsword so let's do a broadsword oh what did that say shameful sweet <laughs> amazing can i make a silver flail okay we can't at least this is regular so we're good there let me go ahead and put this stuff away what is that oh god we gotta stay away from these dudes these dudes can hit you through walls but uh, i guess let's go deeper i guess i don't know if we're gonna end up finding gold old or if we're gonna find death but i will see in a second okay flip whoopee cushion we're getting the drops right now we got an adventures lantern this does true damage i don't know if i'll use it though but we are getting the goods i need to get this stuff up here this stuff right here if you haven't played modded is very nice it's from thorium collect a bunch of it it allows you to create a uh, life crystal but you need a good bit i think it's like 15 or 10 so this might be enough to make one might be exactly enough nice i don't know if it's 15 or 10 though that's a ruby crawler that's from uh, calamity i can tell the boy that boy got the looks of calamity oh my god i slid into it we're good we're still gonna live but i slid straight into that what's up bro what's up bro i'm gonna pull up on him with the flail imagine just getting hit by a spiky ball like you're just chilling vibing and some green dude walks up to you and hits you with a spiky ball i'd be mad as hell i'm not even gonna lie so we got a whoopee cushion we want to get a uh cloud in a bottle some sort of item like that some sort of bottled cloud doesn't matter which one it could be the ice one it could be well actually doesn't matter it might matter i don't know i don't know the recipe exactly but if we just get one of those we're chilling what is that i have a mod in here called uh the wildlife mod oh here we go come on give me something cool 
No, nothing. It's fine, I guess. We're, waiting, we're saving all that luck for the Arcalis. You know, we've been very lucky. We got the Rage or the Stony Evil, and we got a Whoopee Cushion. We're getting lucky, so that only means one thing that we are going to run into an Arcalis in this place. It has to happen. Oh, God, I hate fighting Flinxes. You know, Flinxes, they bother me a little bit more now that I notice that that's their nose and not their arms like sticking out. Okay, let's be careful here. We don't really have great armor. I do have a chest plate on, but you know, it's Grog man, bro. You gotta, you gotta be showing his bare chest. This boy is swole. He's a melee user. He's swole. He's been swole. We got our first official life crystal sweep. We got a very big place down here. Um, you know what I want to find? I want to find Calamity chest. Calamity has like chests underground that you can find. And they got some goodies in those chests. You straight up be finding heart. Oh, be careful. Watch out. You saw those green lights around me. Oh, didn't see you. That's that, that earthen golem trying to hit me. I got to be careful. I, I got to be real careful going down here. There's like two, two chests down here though. Is what it looks like. Let's get in here. We're good, we're good. We made it in here. And let's go like this. Oh, two flinks? Two flinks? Do these guys drop anything? I don't know. All right, come on. We're hoping for a cloud in a bottle. That is what we're hoping for. Come on. Okay. A warding band of regen. Okay. I see you. Yeah, I'll take a warding band. Oh, fuck. I get a lot of comments where people are like, Game Makers, you should bring back the Wheel of Terraria. I know it's a great series. It was a very... Uh, Oh god, creative series at the time of it being created. What? I'm getting attacked by two rose crawlers at the same time. Let's see if I can uh, cut them off here. But I don't I don't know if I'll bring it back, man. I don't know if I'll bring it back. It really was a great series, but the uh Oh fuck. <laughs> the idea of doing challenges in such a short time in a game like Terraria, it's like kinda hard to wrap your head around sometimes. Like I wanted to do some challenges that like take a whole playthrough, but like it's Terraria. Terraria is gigantic. <laughs> This is a big game, so it's hard doing challenges like that sometimes. When's if I break this stuff? Okay. Let's be a little careful about breaking this stuff. Oh, uh, here's the where the real problems come in. Oh god, they are not taking enough knock back and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so the whole point of being underground was so it was daytime. No, nighttime. Stay away from nighttime. But it is now daytime or about to be nighttime again. Uh, let's. I got. I got a quick goal for us before we end off this first episode because I've been recording for a bit. Dude, we're zooming across the lands right now. Let me eat one of these strawberries because we should go even faster. Uh, let's try and find an Arcalis. See if that's a possibility. I know that since we have Calamity in here, we do have a chance to find more shrines in the sky in the planetoids. Look at this. We found a chest though. What's in it? Quick, quick, quick. We don't got. We don't got the time for this. Loot it and run. Loot it and run. Is it a melee weapon? Yo, it's a melee weapon. We gotta get across this gap. Go, 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 go. We don't got time for this. Are we at the ocean already? Okay, we're at, we're getting to the ocean. I didn't see any any swords anywhere. Damn, is this our ocean? That's kind of upsetting. There are right, so there there is no sword shrine on this side. We are playing on a small world. So how many is there in a small world? It's only like one. Oof. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've played in a small world before and I got it. Didn't we get it during like a randomizer video or something? I know we got it recently. Let me see this worm fang in act action though. Oh, it's just a, it's just a spear. A little bit better than the regular spear, which is actually pretty good. We already got a direct spear upgrade. We're doing a spear playthrough. It's official. Ooh, we found a nice little base over here. Um, sorry if I'm entering your home, bro, but you know, just a just a quick quick warm me up. I will be taking your stuff though. I'm very sorry. You can keep the candle. You can keep the candle. Here you go. I'll, I'll leave you a nice platform for the candle. All right, we're here at the dungeon. What's up, bro? Let's take on Skeletron right now. Honestly, I would not be able to take them if we're being honest. All right, but let's go ahead. Let's see. Oh, gold portal. I'll take it. Damn, that's the hefty gold portal. I don't know. Maybe they always give you that amount. But uh, let's get on the other side of this. Honestly, we might have already passed it. What is up with these drop rates? We are getting so lucky. This is like a sign. It's a sign that we must finish this playthrough before 1.4 drops. And we're gonna, on top of all our other videos in between. So I should probably, you know, get a lot done per per episode. And I will try my best, but this first episode, you know, it's always the warm up episode. So this one, this always might be the shortest. Bamboo, I love bamboo. Can't wait for actual bamboo to be in the game because the furniture for it look amazing. I'm probably gonna build a bamboo house in the jungle for our first playthrough, that's all I gotta say. We got a nice little campfire area going on there. Nice and cozy, not gonna touch it. Hold up, I will be touching this though. Come on, we gotta go down here. We gotta check. Sword shrine? Sword shrine. Come on, cough it up. I know you're here. Now nah, this is too deep for it. Wait, there's a lot of grass right here. There's a lot of grass right here. Mm. We gotta be close to it. What's in this chest? Come on, goodies? 
a magic hat. See, that would be goodies if I was playing a magic playthrough, but oh, Grognak, he looking snazzy, bro. Look at him. Oh, look at this. We got another structure over here. See, I really enjoy this microstructure mod. I love having like random generating structures in games. Makes you feel like the world is alive or was once alive because there ain't nobody here anymore. Motherfucker's dead. What is that? Cartographer's scroll reveals a nearby portion of the mini map. <gasps> perfect. What the heck? I knew that item looked weird. This is perfect. Literally. Let's use it. Let's use it. Come on. Map revealed. Ah, so this can help us here. Okay, let's go a little bit more to the left then. This can help us look for what we are looking for. All right, what? Uh oh. Oh no, come on, bro. I know I'm on the outer edges of the map, but come on, so soon? I don't know if I could take him. I don't have the arena. Once his little baby slime start coming out, things are gonna begin bad. Well, I guess let's, let's have us a little challenge. Oh, got it. It's already over. <laughs> that one hit ended it. If I just had a decent arena, it's a possibility that I could beat him. Honestly, but look at this. This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. He's hitting me for 50 a hit. He's hitting me for 50. Is there a way that I could Wait, I can slide under him. Kill kill the little ones. Got it. Honestly, if we take it slow, kill the ones he spawns in, this is a possibility that we could beat the King Slime in the first video right here. I honestly probably could have beat the Grand Thunderbird if I tried. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We can make this doable. I'm going here. We gotta be ready for the switch. Okay. I was ready for it. Kill the kill the little ones. Take it nice and slow. Get him to jump up there. Jump up there. Jump up there. Oh, fuck. This is where things might get bad. <laughs> the spiky slimes spawning in. I gotta, I gotta finesse him here. I gotta finesse him here. Unless he's stuck. Oh, no. He's not stuck. He's not stuck. <laughs> the spiky slimes are what gonna, is gonna be what ruins this. <sighs> no. And I have to walk all the way fucking out there again. All right. We are back out here. I will give it one attempt. One attempt to find this underground. What's it called? To find the sword shrine. And I'm feeling over here to the right. I'm feeling over here to the right. That looks suspicious right there. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm just seeing things. But let's come over here to the right. Right here. And let's do it right around here. Come on. Nothing. That's upsetting. What about over here? I don't know. I don't know. It could be anywhere near us. I'll look around a little bit off camera, but no, we might be ending the episode off in a second. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of this Melee modded playthrough. Like I said earlier, I'm going to try my best to finish this playthrough before 1.4 comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe. Stay inside. 1.4 is coming soon. So let's let's get hyped. Let's, let's be happy that we got some great news about it coming out. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time.